Hey guys, Ben here in Montreal. Just want to do a quick uh, review of this extra cycle. This is the Edge Runner 2015 model. Uh, we're putting it through its paces with some window cleaning, so lots of weight. Pro Molly. This is the small medium one. I just put an extra large uh, seat post. And this was cut nice and tall. They leave this much uh, on the steerer tube. So all I did was bring the stem all the way up. I'm six foot. I've been super happy with this geometry. Nice clearance. I put this on just because I always kick it when I get on with my shoe. Just keep the paint nice and uh, nice and fresh. Don't kick your bike, man. But they have all these nice welds, like extra gusset here. Like I said, it's all steel. So there's a tiny bit of shock absorption from the frame, but it's still nice and stiff. You're not going to get any like stress cracks like aluminum if you have a lot of weight. Everything is stock. So they put these nice... Uh, these are the big bends, 2.35 inches. So you get some nice cushion there. For me, this is a perfect like level of fatness because it, it absorbs some shock, but it still has low rolling resistance. So I do not have electric on this. Yeah, so I have it right here. I've just added this through the holes that are already here and just put this little platform to hold my bucket. And then on the each, each side of this, these nice bags. I carry a jerry can and my all my work supplies right in there. So these are 2.5 gallons. So I normally have five gallons of water plus the full bucket. So about nine gallons, 10 gallons of water that I leave the house with. Uh, like I said, no motor, but the gearing, like it's got 27 speeds. So your granny gear going up any hill, I've been fine with. Hydraulic Biore brakes front and back, 180 uh, millimeter rotors. Been really happy with it. Like the, the components are good quality. They're not the best, but they're like Biore everything. It's a comfy ride. I put both kids, I have two kids easily on there. That's why I put these pads nice and comfy when my daughter just jumps in. Or if this flips, which it hasn't, but it could, it's going to hit the pad instead of just flying out of the, the box. It's a fun rig with a 26 inch front wheel and a 20 inch rear wheel. So What's the purpose? It's the opposite of like the front loader Dutch uh, back Fiat, so like a cargo bike that way. You put the little wheel in the back. The benefit of that is you're going to have more torque when you're in your granny gear. Your acceleration is fast with a small wheel. Small wheel is also way stronger because you're taking all that stress and putting it over a smaller area. Mm. And your cargo load height is lower. So your center of gravity is lower. So instead of a 26 er being maybe up here with all that weight, we reduce the, the weight. So you don't have much ground clearance. Like back here, I can whack my fender. I can't roll off a curb with it. That's the only downside. But um, with a ton of weight on the back of this bad boy, I've been super happy with it. I've also towed like two bikes before. This bar, with a normal bike tire, you can just drop the bike right in that and then tow it. I've had my wife's bike, I've had two kids' bikes, and I've had actually two kids' bikes and three kids wow. on the back of that before. Like the whole family on whole one family. bike. And it rides. It's beautiful. awesome, man. So how do you like this compared to the uh, front loader trio bike that you had? Uh, I like the feel of a chromoly frame better. I really do. Um, Would you say components? it's more stable in traffic? I don't know. This is a bit more, I would say it's a tiny bit more tippy, but the weight's just in the back like a truck. Mm. It's a weird sensation. There's no learning curve riding it though. The, the cargo bike front loader was kind of weird for the first maybe week of riding it and then you get used to it. Um, so this feels more like a bike. This feels more solid and it feels exactly like a regular bicycle. Sweet. But it's definitely more solid. Less problems with like the linkage. I was going through ball joints mm -hmm. up to the front steer on the, uh, the front loader cargo bike. This is just regular bike components. Mm -hmm. And I was worried about like stress cracks in the aluminum yeah, with heavy Time. loads. Yeah, because the shop that I bought it from like is really not good service. 
Mm -hmm. So I was worried if I had a problem, they would not honor the warranty. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. So, so far, super happy with this. Sweet. Good for I you, can, man. I could recommend the Edge Extra Cycle Edge Runner. Cool. Absolutely. It even comes with like uh, nice little details. All the cable routing is nice. It's got this little, uh, I don't know what you call this thing. It's just always uh, in the right direction when you set it down. Otherwise, it would flop. I think they call it a deflopulator. A deflopulator? I believe so. And man. then like, nice wiring, the front derailleur cable goes right through the frame. Nice yeah. touch. Very handsome. Um, you know, bottle right here. You could put something here. I wouldn't put a bottle, but you could put a, like a tool pack yeah. or some sort. And they sell, if you want to add a motor, uh, a little bracket that you put the battery actually right here. Oh, sweet. So they, they sell an off-center like CNC bracket. So the battery would be here, which would, would be perfect for like all that weight low. Mm -hmm. You don't want mm -hmm. a battery up here. Yeah, for a hub motor or a mid-drive, eh? Yeah, whatever you set up, your big like 10-pound battery could be So you right. could electrify it with a, a mid-drive motor? You could do a BBS. BBS? There. You could do a rear hub. You could do a front hub. Wow. Whatever Sweet. you want, options are plentiful. Very cool. Well, man, appreciate. I would rather add electric than buy an electric. Yeah. Even an extra uh, extra cycle electric, yeah. just to save like four thousand dollars. Yeah. And you probably find something much cheaper. A cool uh, and more powerful, more yeah. range. And I park it outside, DIY. and I put one of these little like alarms on it too. Oh, cool. Which I stashed in there. That's the alarm nice. there. Okay. Now my viewers can rub me because that's where the alarm is. And then you turn it on like this. Whoa. Okay, that's awesome. Cool. And then if somebody is to jiggle it. Nice. It'll warn them with that before it goes into like the loud mode. Yeah. Then you can turn it off. That's awesome, man. Well, that's thanks for showing me your, uh, your Ridge Runner. Yeah. Cool, dude.